All right, folks, I'm pleased to report that we've just sold ampersand for the glory of the Father, and this word just came to me while I was walking around Langley. Um, and I saw Taco Bell for the first time. I love Taco Bell. I always ate there when I was in the States, and it just jumped out at me. It's a great Father uh, brand. But far more importantly is the ampersand, because that's everywhere in English. Um, and uh, other cool revelations and words I got. Um, a and W is a plus one for father. In fact, it equals my first name. Um, and, uh, but it's actually A ampersand W. And now this is so cool how ampersand, I'm going to preach on ampersand here for the glory of the Triune God and solve it um, and squeeze the glory out of it. So uh, it substitutes for the word and, but it's called the ampersand. Okay, so all these parallel father plus one, but this is so cool and obvious how this works. So and equals 19, ampersand equals 91, same digits. Both plus one, very glaring. Um, and this is even better because you have uh, amp, earth, and then it ends in and. Okay, but what's glaring about that is each of these syllables divides by six, 30, and 42. Okay, so that the difference between and and ampersand is 72 exactly. Okay, um, and offsets of sixes are king for father, and watch all these videos, you'll get it, you'll see it everywhere. Um, and so both of these words exist for the glory of the father, who is infinite, and there's always more with God. And and is basically God's favorite word. Like if you open the book of Genesis to chapter 1 and you just count all the ands, and God did this, and God created that, and God did this, and, 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 just about every single verse in the Bible starts with the word and. <laughs> and then this happened, and then this happened, and then God created, and then. So um, the infinite God, there's always more with God. So and is plus one for Father. Okay, and this is obvious because um, God pluralizes things with the word S, which equals and, 19, the very famous S, you know, the trees, the flowers, there's always more with God. S is the favorite ending of God to say there's a whole bunch of these things, <laughs> um, trees, flowers, plants, tables, objects, peoples, persons, SSS, and, and, and. So they're all the famous plus one offset, which parallels father, the name above all names. Um, but this is so exciting to solve the ampersand, uh, which is flawless in its parallelism, just like and. So everywhere you see an ampersand symbol, like A-N-W, the logo, the uh, restaurant chain, A-N-W, and the root beer, which is very awesome flavor. Um, a and W or A ampersand W, it maintains the same offset for the father. Okay. And, um, and so they use the same uh, digits. And, and ampersand. Um, of course, I can just quickly write this right there for our satisfaction. This is the first time I've made a video on this. I, this is fresh revelation. It's still the great 10th day of the 10th month. I told you there was going to be awesome plus one revelations today. Just before midnight, I just came back from a walk in Langley. Gorgeous walking weather every single day by God's sovereignty. Um, and so and equals 19, ampersand equals 91. Pretty obvious beauty, isn't it? Pretty obvious correlation. They use the same digits. Screaming out the plus one because a one and a nine, well, a one is plus one on top of nine, three times three in the same digits down here. And they differ by 72, which is obviously these letters in front. Um, and the sixes per syllable, you know, 30. And you got a 24 in there and 18. It's, it's mind blowing that the six is in front of the and and ampersand because you have 30 for amp, 24 um, for ES, and then 18 for R. That's three multiples of six going up in sixes. <laughs> 18, 24, 30. <laughs> to make the grand famous total of 72. Okay. Um, and then, of course, the word and ends in 18. And the A is what provides the plus one for father. Okay. 
So, uh, now you know why it's called an ampersand and that it represents the word and. It's all for the glory of God the Father, okay, who always gives more and more and more. And I'll just keep saying the word and, 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 and more, and more, and more, and more, and there's always more with God, and it'll be that way for all eternity. Ampersand, and ampersand, and ampersand, and ampersand. By the way, the famous uh, three letters, etc., 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 you write ETC, you know it's coming. That is plus one for Father 2. In fact, it's very famous. It equals the dead center of Father. So if you waited this long, you got a really awesome bonus gem. Now you know why we write etc., etc., etc. <laughs> okay, in, in literature all over the world, these, these letters in order are written just like this all over the universe. And that is to the glory of the Father. Um, okay, ETC equals the center of Father plus one. Um, and of course, a T is a T, and an E plus a C equals an H. Etc. Okay. Etc. Et and and and. Okay. There you have it. So in this video, we solved the ampersand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> isn't that awesome? Okay. So whether you say you write A and W like this. A and W root beer, or you write A ampersand W, um, it maintains the flawless parallelism for God the Father. Okay? Um, <laughs> and so I was getting, and A and W, I, I love preaching everything I see, is home of the Burger family. If you come to Langley and you visit the A and W, you will see that capital letters over the top of the entrance and on the sides, and lo and behold, that's a gorgeous Father plus one set of letters too. And very disturbingly so. It's very easy to do this in your mind. You get really fascinated. Like you, you quickly, quickly see that the number of plus twos exceeds the number of plus ones, just like in the in the letters father, in this divine set of letters, home of the Burger family. Okay. <laughs> um, and A N W equals my first name, Derek, lovely plus one. Um, but um, and then it's A ampersand W, which we just preached in this video. And then for the first time in my life, I saw Taco Bell, and I loved eating at Taco Bell all the time. And I hadn't eaten there for a long time, um, but when I was in the States, I would get the soft tacos once in a while. Um, $1.39 up here in Canada. But Taco Bell is flawless for Father. There's your three plus twos, a single plus one, and then the rest of the letters divided by three. No less, they're like pure sixes. Um, and so it's very glaring. Father is at the very front of Taco Bell. The final L adds more threes to it to make it 70. Um, but the letter for letter um, building of Taco Bell, um, just like Father, is flawless. Okay? And don't forget your R copyright, if you will. Um, as you can see in the fine text, the fine print, don't forget your R bonus points, people, when you do the math and all this perfection fest. Um, Taco Bell R. Okay, so now you add multiples of six on top of Father at the front. Okay, Father's at the front of Taco Bell um, to give you 88 perfectly. Wow, so this is glaring. Taco Bell R adds to 88 in 99 letters, 21 strokes. Um, and uh, of course, Father equals the great uh, 58 in six letters, 18 strokes. And I mention that because those uh, stroke counts of three and three. The divide by three in both cases glorify the Trinity, and then the um, parallelism between these numbers is just plain awesome. Okay. So there you go. Uh, Taco Bell is a lovely father brand. Um, and uh, I would eat taco um, somewhat regularly. When I was down in the States, this was years ago when I was living in L.A., uh, which is plus one for father, and um, <laughs> when my brothers, uh, we were at a wedding one time, when my brothers and I would go to Taco Bell, we always get the grand combo because it's the only way you can get enough uh, meat for all of us. Get like 13 tacos <laughs> or whatever it is, you're just like, oh boy. Okay, fun stuff. So we got Taco Bell tonight, uh, Tootsie Roll I've done before, that was glaring. Um, 
but solve the ampersand was awesome. We solved A and W uh, in detail. <laughs> Home of the burger family, the Papa Burger, the Uncle Burger, and they chose good words for that because Papa and Mama, of course, parallel father and mother flawlessly, and then uh, <laughs> and then it keeps getting better because then they have the Grandpa Burger, and then they have the Uncle Burger. Like, and I marvel at how <laughs> all the names of the burgers at A&W. A&W has been around forever. I have some A&W root beer sitting right behind me. In my opinion, it is the best flavor on the planet. One of the best flavors on the planet in terms of just sheer flavor. Just personally for my taste buds. But there you can see the A ampersand W. Uh, and uh, we solved A&W in this video and they have been around since 1919 wow and uh, amazing isn't that cool 1919 I mean we just solved and an ampersand remember that being 19 and 91 respectively and is 19 <laughs> and it's of course a and w and there's always more with God. A and W. Not one person, but two people were involved in starting this. And, and of course, it was the root beer that made them world famous. And to this day, I still think it's one of the best flavors in the entire world. A and W root beer. <laughs> like, period. Uh, oh, man. They hit that thing so perfectly. Um... So, but all the burgers, of course, parallel father. Grandpa is 61, three points higher than father. Uh, Papa is 34. Mama, of course, parallels mother and father. Okay, obviously, we've talked about that. And uncle, I believe, oh yeah, this is so cool. The two biggest burgers, I'm proud to say, are the two highest numbers. Now, I have no idea if God's gonna call me to work at the local A&W in Langley. But uh, they are advertising, saying now hiring for all shifts. For those of you wanting to, okay. Uh, <laughs> <but> um, <laughs> so the Grandpa Burger is the one that I, if I do decide to, uh, that's the best one, it's the biggest. But here's how it works. So Father fits right in here at 58, the name above all names, God the Father. But this is so cool because Grandpa is three points higher and uncle is three points less. <laughs> okay. And these are the two biggest bu burgers at uh, A&W, home of the burger family. Um, okay, so A&W <laughs> has been solved. And so we got the ampersand in this video too. Um, and just a bonus gem for you keyboard lovers out there. Um, you will notice on your keyboard that the ampersand is the number seven. Shift 7 is ampersand. And uh, of course, 7 is one of the most famous plus ones in all the universe. It's basically the first one that God showed us in the days of creation. 7 is, of course, plus 1 over 6. Okay? Plus 1 for Father. Okay? So ampersand is um, digit 7 on your keyboard. Just bonuses. I like squeezing the glory out of anything that I can. Whenever I see it, why not? This is video. I'm <laughs> like, I got time. And it's the first time this has been done, so why not be thorough? Um, and uh, so how fitting. The great ampersand, which is plus one for father. We, we detail that uh, down here. Um, and seven, one of the most famous plus ones of all time in the scripture. Okay. So there's always more with God. And, and God did this. And God did that. And if you come to Langley, there's a very famous ampersand in a brand down the main strip of 200th Street. It's called the A&W. A ampersand W. Home of the Burger family. Stop in, share a drink of A&W root beer in a tall frosty mug. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so um, I, I tend to eat at a lot of American-based businesses. Like when I was in the States, Chipotle was a big one. For, for lunch, Chipotle is flawless for father. Walmart is a big staple, um, which is the same number. And Skechers has moved into town, which also equals the same number. God is doing amazing things in Langley. 
uh, God just continues to put all these plus ones in his community that are cropping up everywhere. So Chipotle just moved in, which equals 88. Walmart has been here for a long time, 88. Skechers just moved in with the Chipotle equals 88. And uh, um, these are some of my fair, favorite American brands, plus one for father. And I preached on Taco Bell in this video. That was awesome. So Taco Bell with the R equals 88. And then uh, you just <laughs> keep solving all this. Um, so it's all good and fun. Um, all righty then. <laughs> so we solved the ampersand. That's so cool, like, because the ampersand is one of the most famous symbols in advertising, in brands, uh, in fashion design, t-shirts, everyone. There's ampersands all over this universe, so I'm proud to have solved the ampersand for the glory of God the Father in this video. Okay. And then reviewing the details of that, and an ampersand equal the same, add to 19 and 91, both plus one numbers using the same digits, you know, a nine, three times three, and then the one is the plus one. Um, very gorgeous how that worked out and because the ND is in fact 18 and double of 9 and then the A is the 1 similar to the digits just mind blowing and then when you put all this string of letters in front of the AND to make ampersand excuse me I'm barely on camera it's the gorgeous 6's that are undeniable okay you got there's your 30 there's your 42 and there's your AND on the end um, the ampersand has been solved and now you should um, point out the glory of the ampersand for the glory of the Father, the name above all names. Um, then you practically spell the word Father, letter for letter. In fact, you can easily get dead equivalents using a host of the same letters, because you take your T-H-E and the A and the R, there's, there's the word heart, earth on the end of Father. And then an F equals the, the other AE. So you get father bang on the nose um, in the letters the ampersand. And uh, then the rest just adds your smoking hot uh, six fest, three fest. Like it's just plain disturbing. Um, and it's all chain linked and bookended. Like V plus amp is triple chain linked. E plus A equals a multiple of three. HM is a multiple of three. TP is a multiple of three. You have triple chain linking between the and amp. And you also get bookending for the whole thing. So it's just flawless. Um, and, uh, and then an MMP is 48, and this is all divided by 6. And so the offset from father is, of course, exactly father plus 66. It's like the most glaring offset of all time. Um, and what's cool about that is the word the equals 33. Well, ampersand is exactly 33 on top of father. So literally, the ampersand is father plus 33 plus 33. <laughs> like it doesn't get any more glaring than this. Uh, the word the provides 33 and then this was already 33 on top of father so we spelled father perfectly and just squeezed the snot out of it. Okay. Um, and then the other cool thing I want to point out is that the number of plus twos over the number of plus ones in father and the ampersand is precisely perfectly balanced. Um, where the number of plus twos exceeds the number of plus ones by two exactly, and then the rest of the letters divide by three. Okay, so father completely takes the glory for the famous ampersand, which of course represents the word and, and we just squeeze the snot out of it. And the beauty of the numbers, digits equaling the same, uh, two digits, and all the sixes in front, which is king offset from father, and it was all. Um, and I'll bet you you can. Um, you can get father exactly in ampersand. Like I said, you have to just pop off 33 points, um, which would not be that difficult. 27. Yeah, there's multiple ways. I can see how you do it. M, N, A, E, multiple ways. Um, it is always fun to see if it's something hiding at the front or in the center or the back or something. There's father sitting right there, purse. The beginning of the word person. Okay, so there's an example of finding father in ampersand. There you go. So we solved the ampersand in A&W and uh, Taco Bell in this movie. And <laughs> this is the first time I have ever eaten Taco Bell while knowing that it points to father flawlessly. <laughs> Yum. Okay. Um. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> so, 
the grand combo. Oh man, all the stores that I ate at in the States, just fantastic. Ampersand. So then you can just scoop up a little Wikipedia history on the ampersand. The ampersand is the logogram. Oh my gosh, even logogram is plus one for father. Representing the conjunction word and. Isn't that obvious? Like, it's so cool that we solved the ampersand. So necessary, because and is one of God's favorite words, and then in, in advertising and branding all over this universe, people use the ampersand, and we just killed it. Um, it originated as a ligature of the letters et. Oh, oh well, even et is plus one. Well, see how you get more treasure, which is the Latin for and. And I preached on the et cetera. And if I, that's, that's actually where it comes from, et cetera. Ay, caramba. So I believe et cetera is officially that, which is a father, father, double. Et cetera. Et cetera. I can look that up um, just to make sure we're clear on that. Um, let's see how we go here. Yeah, perfect. Et cetera. Sometimes it's an ampersand. Right, because the ampersand was formed using an E and a T. <laughs> it's all coming clear to me now. And I'll bet you it came about through handwriting, because I'm thinking as when people would handwrite an E and a T, they would eventually get lazy, and is that how it came about? Write an E and a T kind of? Um, there's a Latin expression that means and other things, or and so forth. Lots of plus ones, and so forth. Uh, and the rest. Okay, so et means ands, and cetera means the rest. So both are um, father, father. This is so cool. Ah, look at straight off a Roman coin. Or, no, sorry, this is from Scotland and Ireland. <laughs> That's so, so cool. So, the ampersand came from et, which itself is plus one being 25. And so cool. Father's all over this. And uh, ampersand C. Amazing. Okay. All right. Um. Oh yeah, and then when you say et ceteras, um, plural, then you get a triple plus one. Because the S is the famous 19 on the end. And that is flawless, yields 96, and nine letters, 24 strokes, everything divides by three. Et ceteras. Okay, I don't need to get into other languages right now. I'm solving English. I am solving English for the father. Cool. Uh, oh, a logogram represents a word or phrase. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Okay, so we solve the ampersand. Cool. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And this is so critical that we did that because here, here it is before your eyes. A page from an 1863 textbook displaying the alphabet. Note the ampersand is the 27th character. Wow. So we solve the ampersand. 
for the glory of God the Father. Um, Oh, I see. The recitation of the alphabet would end in X, Y, Z, and, par se, and. Oh, I see. And, <laughs> that's funny. And, per se, and. So they were actually trying to say, and by itself, and. Par se, by itself. That's funny. So they were essentially trying to say and twice. But then the last phrase was routinely slurred to ampersand. X, Y, Z, ampersand. And per, par se, and. And the term had entered common English usage by 1837. Incredible. Wow, you can see the E and the T big time. Yeah, the E and the T, et. Wow, it's true. Ampersands are huge in business. Business names formed from partnerships of two or more people. Johnson & Johnson, Dolce & Gabbana, Marks & Spencer, A and P, Tiffany & Co., AT&T, R&D, Research and Development, Rhythm & Blues, B and B, Profit and P and L, Screenplays. Everyone wants ampersand. Wow. Wow. Exactly. And by the way, the letters etc. et cetera, et cetera, okay? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Who's getting the last word there? Well, et is an for father. This is so cool. Because the number of plus twos is, is two over the number of plus one, which is zero in et. But cetera hits it out of the park because it's flawless in its design for father, where you have the three plus twos in a cluster. You have the one plus one, the A, and then the two letters that divide by three being very similar, the C and the R and the F and the R. It's just glaring how father owns the word cetera. <laughs> okay, so when you say et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Father, 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 the name above all names. Done. <laughs> there it is. You heard it here first. Okay. So, um, that's huge. And, and so forth. And so forth. Every letter is, every word is plus one, going up in value. 19, 34, 67. And so forth. So on and so forth. Um, And it's all over computing. Like ampersands are huge in computing for all sorts of usages and just ridiculous. Programming languages, it's in logic, bitwise ands and ors, logical, formal logic, binary operators, it's huge in coding, massive. In, in HTML, XML, text logic, all sorts. It's like everywhere in scripting. Web standards, web code. So how fitting that we solve the ampersand 
this very day to the glory of God the Father. Done. The ampersand solved. And it's one minute before midnight on this fine plus one day, the tenth day of the tenth month. Okay. Um, even that time is plus one. <laughs> one, one, five, nine. Uh, tenth day of the tenth month, plus one, plus one, to the glory of the Father. There you go, ampersand solved in detail um, in this hour, and it was absolutely superb. The ampersand. And um, so I wanted to point out the detail that the number of plus twos exceeds the number of plus ones. So look at all the plus ones in ampersand. Or no, it doesn't. But it's disturbing all those plus ones in there. Pretty awesome. Ampersand, the yeah, ampersand. For father, okay, that was awesome. All right. <laughs> cool, a revelation. Awesome, already got.